everybody, what's up? This is Brian Pex, and I've got a quick video demonstration here on a flaw that is inherent in Photoshop and Lightroom workflows, or I should say Lightroom to Photoshop workflows and back. All right, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna go under Preferences, which is here on the Mac under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it would be down quite a ways on the edit, in the edit, edit menu. All right, so I'm gonna to go to Preferences, and we are concerned with the external editing. I have TIFF chosen. The reason why I and a lot of other photographers choose TIFF file format is because you can save files up to four gigabytes, whereas with a PSD file, you can only go up to two gigabytes. So for that reason alone, I use the TIFF file format. Okay, color space, pro photo, bit depth, 16 bits. Of course, if you're gonna be working with raw files, you're gonna to wanna to always work with 16 bit. Resolution, 240, that doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get into that right now. What we really want to uh, concentrate on is the compression. Right now, I have it set to none. I'm gonna leave it like that. Let me close this out. I'm gonna right click on the image that is in the window here and edit in Adobe Photoshop 2020. Now, whether you open it as a smart object or a regular layer, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get into that right now. This isn't a tutorial on editing. This is simply about a flaw in the, the Lightroom to Photoshop workflow. So here we go, I'm gonna click on here. And this will, of course, open this NEF file, which is a Nikon file, over into Photoshop. Here we are. And now, if you look down over here, you can see that the document has a file size of 116.2 megabytes. To bloat this up, I'm just gonna make a bunch of copies of this background layer. So I'm just gonna hit Command J or on a PC, Control J. I'm gonna hit it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and I'm just doing that just to bloat up the file size to simulate a layered workflow. Okay, we're at 1.25 gigabytes now as the estimated file size. So I'm gonna simply hit Command S to save this back over into Lightroom. As you can see down here, it's saving and it is saved. And lo and behold, it's right here alongside the original raw file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click it and then put uh, choose the show in Finder or Explorer if you're using a PC. And I just wanna see the file size here. And as you can see, this image it's a TIFF image with a file size of 1.87 gigabytes, a large file. Okay. Okay, so here we are back over in Lightroom. What I'm gonna do now is change that preference from none to zip file compression. Close this, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Let me just go right here it is. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing, same operation. As you can see, same file size, of course, since it's the same file, 116 megabytes. So, Command J, 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And now, Command S, save it back over into Lightroom. To disk. Okay, it's done, Command W, close it out. And now, we have two files. Okay, now, I'm gonna right click on this, Show in Finder. Now, since this is the zipped file, file size should be smaller, but as you can see, it isn't. I've got these two files right here side by side. This is the one that I just saved that was supposed to be zip compressed, but it's 1.87 gigabytes, and so is this one. So we have a problem here, and this has been a problem that I've read on some posts online, some forums, going back quite a few years now, and for some reason, Adobe is not addressing it. There is a workaround, however. Okay, here we are back over in Lightroom. I'm gonna go again to that same raw image. And I'm just gonna leave it at zip compression because obviously that doesn't work. So this, this is the difference right here. I'm gonna open this up back over into Photoshop. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did for the last two files. Here we are. Once again, 116 megabytes, same file size. 
I'm going to do the same thing. We know the drill by now. Command J 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This time, instead of hitting Command S, I'm going to go to the File menu and choose, oops, Save As. Now this will save it right back into that same folder that the other one is the, the other ones are in. So it'll show up right alongside of your other files in Lightroom. No worries there. It comes up as TIFF since TIFF was the preferred file format for the external editor. So it'll always come up that way by default. So I'm going to put save and we're going to have this extra box pop, pop up this dialog box, which is called TIFF options. Here we have our image compression choices. None, LZW, or ZIP. Now, with 16-bit files, definitely do not choose LZW. That is for 8-bit files. It will actually make your file larger. So you want to go to ZIP. Oops. ZIP. And you're going to get this box that show, pops up, and it says ZIP compression is not supported in older TIFF readers, and saving the file may take more time. Use zip compression. Now you can click this if you don't want to see it again, but I'm just going to hit yes for right now. And we also have another choice over here that will help us save size, the layer compression. So we're going to choose this right here. Slower saves, smaller files. And it will save slower because remember, when you're compressing an image, the processor, the, your, your computer's processor has to do that work. So it takes a little longer, but you're going to save a lot of file size. So let me hit OK here. This, these other options leave as is. And this, you'll get this box pop up. Including layers will increase file size. That's pretty obvious. You can again click this if you don't want to see that option again. Or see this box pop up again. So hit OK. Now, depending on your processor, this could take a little long. This could take a little time, especially depending on the size of the file. This is a 2016 MacBook Pro with an i7, so it shouldn't be too, too long. But it is, it's definitely a difference in speed in terms of how it saves the file. OK, so we're done. The file has been saved. I'm going to close this out again. Go over back, go back over to Lightroom. And as you can see, it's populated down here alongside the other ones. Okay, so here we are. We're going to right click on this file that was just saved. Show in Finder. And lo and behold, it's a much smaller file, 1.24 gigabytes. Whereas the other ones, as we saw before, were both 1.87. So you're saving 600 plus megabytes right there on one file. That's a lot of space. When you think about adding up all the hundreds or thousands of files that you're going to work with over the years. Okay, guys. And finally, I want to end this video with one last little nugget of knowledge in the Photoshop Lightroom world. And that is, you might be asking yourself, why don't I have to compress PSD files? I'm going to show you right now. If you go up here to Preferences and you choose PSD instead of TIFF, you'll notice that the compression option actually just disappears. Why is that? Well, let me show you. The answer lies over here in Photoshop. If we go to Preferences in Photoshop and go under File Handling, you'll notice this checkbox right down here is unchecked. And it says, Disable Compression of PSD and PSP Files. And this comes factory out of the box that way, or I should say straight from the download since nobody purchases software in boxes anymore. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, it is by default set up to automatically compress PSD and PSP files. So that's why you'll never see a compression option for those file types. Just wanted to throw that in in case it was something you were curious about. Hope this video helps you guys, and uh, any questions, leave them below in the comments, and get in touch with me anytime. Alright, have a great day, and keep on shooting.